Mehbooba Mufti was one of the people present at that meeting and she was in fact there at the personal invitation of Sonia Gandhi. She spoke to Barkhadat and said that the people of Kashmir have been let down. But you know, Sayyid Alisha Gilani also made an appeal earlier for the protests to be non-violent. Would you at least concede that when there is arson on the streets, when police posts are burnt, for example, when cars are set ablaze, and I'm not at all justifying the civilian killings, 86 people are dead, and that is unforgivable. But at the same time, I'm asking you as a responsible political leader of the valley, should arson, should violence off the street also not be condemned? Yeah, definitely. Why not? But but we should we need to understand these are the very people, you know, one and a half year back they were there, they were with us, they were with national conference with Congress, who has pushed them to the wall? Something is missing. Something has gone wrong. I mean, if Mehuba Mufti has to start early in the morning so that you know she doesn't have to face people to reach airport, if the state government they have to take a chopper to, to reach the airport, uh, we are not able to face the people. That is somewhere we people. State government, we politicians or, and the uh, politicians at the central level, we have failed our people. So we just can't tell them, oh, everything is going to be fine, we appeal you just because we are not doing anything. We are not even release the boys who are behind the bars and to top it all. Every night there are crackdowns. We are taking new prisoners. I mean, I mean, if Gilani Saab gives a call for uh, strike, it is implemented by the state government with the most inhuman restrictions. You just can't imagine how the people are living. They, the who, have, who, are, who are dead, they are dead. But who are living, they are living in hell.